Okay, uh, hello, welcome to my video. Um, today I'm going to show uh, how to solve a typical manufacturing uh, problem. Um, I have here a spreadsheet uh, by the uh <coughs> in a pie spread app and uh, so it shows uh, several part numbers for assemblies and on table one on table one through nine I have these those those assemblies which contain in turn sub assemblies of second level and on uh, and the quantity so on the first column you have the assembly part number uh, which is column zero next column which is column one I uh, have the subassembly part number and quantity uh, on column two, the quantity of each, and so on for all these uh, tables up to table nine. From table 10 through 15, I have those uh, second level um, subassemblies and uh, I have which in turn have uh, subassemblies third level uh, actually I will be from table 11 and the quantities of each table 16 I have the uh, for each of those assemblies third level I have quantities of different three different types of parts so I have uh, panhead screws, cannonball screws, and uh, quarter-inch NPT manifolds. And table 17, I have uh, it's an uh, inventory list. It shows for different. Uh, it has the current inventory of each of those parts and the dates of arrival of each of those each of those parts and the quantities from. January 1st to January 31st so let's say that I want to know how many assemblies I can build um, by a certain date um, so that's what I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna show uh, using Python code so let's get started Okay, so uh, here the top panel is the macro panel, and the bottom panel is the panel for the output. So the first thing I do is I calculate the number of parts in the first assembly. So I use the function eval, uh, which evaluates everything between brackets. So S1 to 1, for instance, is a reference to a cell in column row 1, column 2, and table 1. What this does is a calculation that where it's, it's the product of this quantity times the sum of the pro two products, which is the product of this quantity times this quantity and this quantity times this quantity so which is basically and then the same thing for this the rest of these uh, uh, two assemblies and all the num all the quantities are added up basically it's it's uh, adding all the parts this parts are inside this subassembly which are which is inside of this subassembly so we need to add and multiply in order to get um, the total do the same calculation for all the all the assemblies for one type of part and 
and then for the, the same calculation in for all the assemblies for the next type of part and then same calculation for the assemblies for the next type of part I create a list of the sums of, of all the assemblies and put it in in a variable and I do the same thing for each type of part so I have three and then I create a list that is all the assembly part numbers I find on which which component is in the list that corresponds to the assembly that I'm looking for using a loop with a condition I find I create a list of all the sums for each type of part I create a copy of the list before I order it and then I, I sort it from smallest to largest I add find using a loop with conditions which is the uh, small smallest part which type is the smallest part which type is the medium part medium quantity and which type ha has the largest quantity and then I need to calculate some ratio so in order for me to know uh, to know how the number of assemblies that I'm going to be building I need to know uh, for example if I'm making I have 20 parts of one type and 40 parts of another I need to have the same ratio in inventory as in assembly so so the, these ratios compare are all in the assembly so the ratio from largest to smallest is this so index 2 corresponds to largest 0 to smallest same thing ratio from middle to smallest so reach index 1 corresponds to middle index c uh, in index 0 corresponds to smallest and then I find which column in the last in this table is the date that I'm looking for so I go through a loop and I save the date in a variable and then I create a I create I find the number of parts in for each of these components so the first for the first spot one I get I calculate the sum of all these numbers up to the inventory up to the the date that I'm looking for and I do the same thing for this one this row and this row I create a list of all those sums and then I uh, I go through several ratios so the first ratios are uh, from comparing the inventory only in, only in inventory so the ratio from middle to small so I, I'm using the index that I got before to to reference different types of parts according to the size of the quantity and then I get the ratio from uh, large to small and then I get and then these ratios are comparing the inventory the same type of part invent inventory to assembly so I, I get I get here the ratio small to assembly uh, small to small inventory to assembly so and I'm again using the the index that I obtained before I calculate I make it a, a whole number and then the ratio again from same thing ratio from middle to small and I make it a whole number and then the ratio from largest to small and I make it a whole number and then I create a condition uh, conditional statement so if the ratio of in comparing inventory and assembly so if the ratio of middle to small is greater or equal to the ratio from middle to small then if another condition if the ratio of large to small is greater or equal than the the ratio of largest to small then the number of assemblies that can be built is in the assembly the in the comparing the ratios in inventory to assembly so the 
ratio of small to small if that if not if that condition is not met then it's the ratio uh, of the large assemblies compar comparing inventory to small if the first condition is not met then it would be the ratio of large to small it, it, well it will go to another condition uh, if the range if comparing inventory to assembly large to small is greater or equal to large to small then the number of assemblies that can be built is the the ratio comparing inventory to assembly of 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 middle or the middle quantities else if then the ratio would be the in assemb in uh, assembly or comparing inventory to assembly the ratio of the largest quantities so let's give it a try so if I have for example I I need an assembly I want to know how many assemblies I can build by this date and I put an assembly number I need this assembly which would be number three then I click on apply and I get um, so the number of assemblies that can be manufactured by this date is three if I change the the number the date to 30 and then I change the assembly to maybe five the number I click on apply the number of assemblies that I can can be built is well three let's see let's see um is three but I changed to a different assembly for example seven the number of assemblies that can be built is four okay so thank you for watching uh, this video please subscribe to my channel